Hey everybody, it's Joel, J-A-R-C-0-2, and these were um, motorcycles that were in um, side of uh, two separate cardboard boxes in my What's in a Box 29 video, and I wanted to go over these separately. Um, uh, I knew I had them in one of the bins, and it turns out it was the last bin that I went through. Um, the way it always is, because I wanted to do this sooner, um, just because I had the urge to, uh, not that there was any great importance. But um, I kept seeing these years ago at Walmart, and I kept thinking to myself, when's the last time Hot Wheels put out um, riders on a motorcycle? It was when they had rumblers and the um, chop cycles during the Sizzlers era in the early 70s. And this particular one right here, uh, Scorching Scooter, has the skeleton, which I really thought was interesting because there was a rumbler with a skeleton. And um, the skeleton wasn't the rider. The skeleton actually made up the frame of the bike. And uh, I don't have any pictures or anything. I don't have that particular rumbler because it is extremely expensive. Uh, especially if you find an original one in the package, then you're talking big bucks. And um, it's, it's out of my territory. Um, but in any case, I thought this was really the most unique one. And I'm surprised that it's not more popular. Uh, when the Scorch and Scooter was a first edition, it was a bike. It was hard to find. You couldn't find it on the pegs. But um, I have two of them. And uh, this is 2012 copyright. And the other one is a Hot Wheels City. And I don't think there's any difference between them. And this is a 2013, so they changed the uh, the box. Okay. So I don't... I'm not seeing any differences here. If someone sees a difference, if they could point it out to me, I appreciate it. But I'm not seeing any difference other than the box. I'm not seeing any difference in the figure either. And these are listed in the new guide that you can get off the uh, um, the Hot Wheels um, uh, it's not Hot Wheels that's not the Redline Club website it's um, the Hot Wheels newsletter website there's a, uh, a new price guide out. Um, <clears throat> And you could find these listed there. So um, according to that, they're like between one and four dollars. But um, I never use those pricing as um, value. I just use it as replacement value if I was going to insure it. So, and then looking at the box, the back, I'm not seeing any changes here. They just had the same models that carried over. Okay, so, and then I have, this one is the only one that's in a completely different package. And this is copyrighted 2011. So these were out for four years, three years, not a little bit longer. Uh, and these are, you know, Hot Wheels... Uh, motorcycles and they just put mini riders on top of them all right so here we have hammer sled and I don't know if these riders have any any names like they do for the uh, the rumblers and the sizzler chop cycles here we have speed seeker moto try and stop me and again these are the names of the bikes that they're on, not the riders. Yamaha V-Max. So it's a licensed one. Um, his hand looks really messed up there. I have no idea what they did. That was, uh, that looks like almost Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four and Grappas. I have no idea what that is. 
Here is the Hot Wheels 450F. Here we have Street Nas. Urban Weaver. OCC Split Black, um, which is a licensed model because OCC is Orange County Choppers. And this was a first edition at one point or a new model at one point, whatever they were calling it at the time. Here is a Ducati. 109 a 1098R and here is another Ducati 1098R different color um, this one here is leaning to the side I think that's the package so we have two different color bikes we have a white one and a yellow one and two different color riders. So there is a variation right there. And that's 2012, and that's 2012. Here we have Airy 8. Skull face. Now that's a little bit more like, not quite, but that's sort of the idea of using the skeletal frame of a person to make the frame of a bike. Um, and that's not the shape or anything of the rumbler, but um, the idea is the same. Using the bones as the frame. Here's Blastus Moto 2. And many of these bikes um, are out. I mean, you could buy them. Pit Cruiser. Three squealer. Um, this is um, pretty much a copy of the one Rumbler um, of the same name. Um, again, I will leave a link uh, to it uh, from the Rumblers uh, that I did recently. And also the rider is very similar to one of the tumbler i mean not tumbler rumbler uh riders called tops because of the top hat but that looks almost like a exact copy here we have dodge tomahawk that's another licensed model It's a Dodge because what they did was they put the V10 Viper motor on a bike frame and gave it like extra. Actually, I think the real Tomahawk has um, double wheels on the front and the rear, uh, if I remember. But this is, uh, you know, this is the idea. Because you see the front, you see the picture? They got double wheels and tires instead of a great big fat tire it's got double up front so yeah I was right <clears throat> okay, here we have fright bike and that piece right there uh, flips up and it's basically just a uh, wheelie bar is basically what it is. And uh, four more. 
from the Hot Wheels City. Harley Davidson Fat Boy. And here's a man with his dog. That's kind of cool. So another licensed model. Woozy. It's kind of a cool scheme with the yellow. But this person's helmet looks like one of the bad guys in uh, Star Wars that was on the Death Star. Looks like their helmets. Oh, darn it. And I have two Bat Pods. And I have two because one's on the Hot Wheels City card and the other one is on a different card. But I don't think there's any difference between the two. Other than the card. So we have Batman. I'm not seeing any color differences. I'm not seeing any differences in the figures. I just think the uh, card changed for the new year. Because the uh, this one here on the top is copyright. 2012 and the one on the bottom is 2013 so this one here is the older one and this would be the newer but I just don't see any difference in it just the card difference all right um, that's it for the um, motorcycle collection that I have. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you would like to subscribe and you haven't already, upper left hand corner at the end of the video. And please like and share. And you all have a good week.